Hello everyone and welcome to another television review by Centipede Geek and Ash. Today we're going to talk about our thoughts and opinions upon a DirecTV original program. It comes on the Audience Channel, which I believe is channels 101. It's two channels, 101 and the channel 239, with the name of Full Circle. Now I don't know... Uh, I don't know how many DirecTV programs, like, if they ever have had an original program. It's kind of like Netflix, where, except of all putting it all at once, they air uh, two episodes, they're 30 minutes, no com commercials, and they air the episodes back-to-back. -back. And it has a pretty, you know, all-star cast. It's got the guy from Nip Tug, one of the guys from Bones, it's got Malfoy from Harry Potter, so it's got a pretty, uh, one of the girls in the Breakfast Club from back in the 80s, I believe. It's got a pretty uh, cool cast. Anyway, it's kind of a different series, really based on dialogue, and it takes place every episode is in a restaurant with two people at a table and they're kind of talking the entire time and it splits up into three parts you have the what do you have you have the appetizer the main course and the dessert and the dessert right okay thanks for reminding me thank you uh, and it's split up into those three courses and as time goes on the scenes escalate and it's kind of just about them talking to each other uh, and just them interacting with each other, human relationship, behaviors, and that whole thing. Uh, so what did you think of Full Circle? Um, I, I liked Full Circle. Um, I don't really love it. Um, but, I mean, it was pretty good for what it was. Yeah. I think it's really unique and interesting. I, I Personally, I loved it. It's definitely unique because... I think it just know, takes some getting used to. I think if someone's not used to seeing two people sit there at a table for 30 minutes and talk, then they're not going to like it. Like, if you're one of those people that likes action, likes thrillers, and, you, you know, this is just a solid drama about two people, and you, like, the first one's about, you know, not much of a spoiler, you know, he's having an affair. These two people have... Is. Yeah, she is, yeah. And this, with, the, with the guy that's about 10 years younger... Uh, and he's trying to, get, to convince her to move to the UK. And the second episode, you learn that how they're connected, and her husband gets involved. And she, and you know, he, uh, she, he learns that she wants a divorce. That's kind of the plot of the first two episodes. Um, so why did you think it was just decent? I don't know. I mean, I mean, it's definitely unique. I give it that because I mean, it focuses on two people alone. And, and even though that they're in this big fancy restaurant, you know, it's just them. So, I mean, I, you know, I see that it's unique, but I don't know. I guess I just need more... I think, like I said earlier, they gotta get used to it. Just talking. You gotta get yeah. used to it. I think, I think, do you think as time goes on, you will like it more? I think Maybe. so. Maybe? Maybe. It all depends on... This is one of those series. That, everything goes on. Yes, yeah, so one of those series that depends that runs on the actors. I think the script is great. The acting is great. You got Julian, uh, the Australian actor from Nip Tuck. He he plays. What does he play? A lawyer, uh, right? No. He plays a foreign exchange student. No, I'm not talking about Malfoy. Oh, you're talking about. Uh, I'm talking about. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, plays plays a lawyer. lawyer. Yeah, and I love how they're all connected. You know, Major Boy's coming up. You find out that. He possibly could be the father. So that's kind of strange. Like her dating both the father or married to the father, having an affair with the father's son. So I like how they're connected. They're connected in a very strange way. So it's really, I think it's really cool. Um, and it's really interesting because the it starts off with the appetizer. Scenes, you know, go by really slow. They're laughing. Then the main course sets in. And they slowly start to escalate. And once that dessert happens, they start yelling at each other, and it gets really intense. And I think it's really cool. It's set up like a like a theatrical stage play almost, the way it's set up. Right. Uh, and I like how it's you know it depends on the characters' reactions. I like how it's all about their behaviors, their relationships. The dialogue's great. The, you know the writing, the script. So I like I really like that. Um, so is there anything you liked about it? Because you said there's a little bit you didn't like. So was anything you did like? You think that, you, do you think that's the problem, is that there's not enough going on? Yeah, I think that's my issue with it, but I mean, I like the guy from Nip Tuck and the guy from... He's Bob, absolutely so. great tonight. I think he's good. Uh, tonight's episode is actually two back-to-back -back episodes, and I believe you have Julian and then uh, from Nip Tuck and then David, you know, playing, you know, uh, Booth's character and Bones. They're both going to kind of have a face-off, and I think... I'm not for sure, but they're friends. Are they are they friends? Yeah. Well, it looks like they're arguing though in the they're scene though. Have a dinner. It's him and Jace. 
Okay, so that's cool. Is portraying the guy named Jace. So who does the episode have in afterwards? I think the episode after that will be Jace and then someone else. Okay, so that's cool. It'll have something to do with them. Right. And then by the end of the series, because it's only, you know, five weeks because, you know, ten episodes, two back to back. Right. That's why the series is called Full Circle because it all comes full circle. It's all going to connect somehow. Um, so favorite thing about the series, even though you thought it was just decent? Uh, the guy from Nip Tuck and Bones. Really? Yeah. Yeah, even though you haven't seen him yet, right? Right. But I'm sure it'll be really cool tonight. My favorite thing is definitely that. And just, I love the overall, the characters' interactions. I think that in them interacting together, the chemistry's well, and really the actors just work great together. Um, so you do think it's going to get better over time? It all depends on how everything unfolds. Okay. Well, any last thoughts? Anyways, well, that's about it. That's our review of the DirecTV original uh, program by the name of Full Circle. Once again, it comes on every Wednesday night, two back-to-back episodes, one at 8 and one at 8.30, and it all ends at 9 o'clock. Uh, so make sure to take three in every Wednesday. Uh, and once again, thanks for watching the video by Cinepeak Geek. And as make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the page below. And we'll see you guys later with more videos.